I want to get now to some breaking news from Capitol Hill. This is just into our newsroom with Casey Hunt live up on the Hill for us. And Casey, we are just getting word, right, about a, a congressman who has been accused of sexual misconduct, sexual harassment, now not going to run again. What do you know? Hallie, NBC News has confirmed that Congressman Blake Farenthold, he's a Republican from Texas, is not going to seek re-election in 2018 after a second person accused him uh, of harassment and abuse. This uh, staffer was named in a CNN story. It's actually a man uh, who says that the congressman made inappropriate remarks, uh, very vulgar remarks about his wife-to-be uh, when he was working in Farenthold's office. He also described an overall culture in the office of harassment, anger, vulgar jokes, uh, inappropriate treatment uh, of staffers that uh, kind of uh, was across the board, not necessarily just uh, sexual in nature. This comes uh, after, of course, Farenthold had been fighting a lawsuit from a former staffer, Lauren Green, and had been under investigation uh, by the Ethics Committee. But uh, only recently did that case come back into the spotlight because of the uh, Me Too movement and all the conversations that we've been having. Uh, and the Ethics Committee has since escalated its probe into Farenthold. They named, uh, or they had named four people uh, to a subcommittee. That's kind of a, a, an elevated version of an Ethics Committee investigation. They have two different ways they can investigate members of Congress. This is the more serious one. Uh, yeah. And they had announced last week that they were going to go ahead and do that. So we're expecting to hear from the House Speaker later on today. Yeah. He has a press conference at 1130. Uh, the Speaker uh, had called for John Conyers to resign. Conyers, of course, had paid out uh, a settlement to uh, a woman who accused him of misconduct. And there were some critics of the speakers who said that meant that if you were going to apply that standard, you needed to call on Farenthold to resign as well. He hadn't done that to this point, but he met twice with Farenthold yeah. yesterday. Farenthold also meeting uh, with Congressman Steve Stivers, uh, who, of course, is in charge of getting Republicans elected to the House. Uh, and this, it seems, is the decision. We'll see if there's pressure uh, on Farenthold to go beyond this and to resign right. sooner uh, than the end of next year. That was my question, Casey. Do we have any guidance? And I know it's very early and, and literally just breaking at this moment, but any guidance on why uh, Farenthold is not is not doing something sooner, why he's waiting until the end of next year? Well, he's clearly dug in and has been fighting yeah. this every step of the way. So uh, it's possible that there is, you know, and, and I'm going to be interested to see if there's any conflict between uh, what Farenthold uh, and what we're reporting uh, at this point and where the leadership stands. I think our reporting right now would indicate that this is kind of what was agreed to generally, and we may only see more pressure if there were to be additional allegations. But again, we'll see. Hallie. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.